Hello everybody! In this video, we will see how to protect a user from leaving a page which has unsaved changes. We will use the can deactivate guard and we will create a generic implementation. Let's get started. In this example, we will use a single page application with two different menu items. The first one is the basic info and the other one is the address. As we can see the basic info, we have the first name, we have the last name, email and age, and we have a submit button. And in the address, we have street, number, postal and company. The idea is that if the user stop, start typing in the form without clicking the submit button, if it tries to change route, we should inform the user and warn him like you have unsaved changes, leave. So this is what we want to implement. To start with, we have to create a guard. I will name the guard is form valid guard. As is, and I will select the can deactivate. Now, this guard, this is the name, is form valid guard, which implements the can deactivate of a generic type, and currently the default one is unknown. The can deactivate guard works exclusively for a component instance. We should replace this unknown and this unknown with a component that we want to protect. We will start with the basic info. So I will copy the class name and let's go here and replace the unknown. Having the component instance means that we have access to the public properties and the public methods of this component. Let's go again to the basic info component. And what we have to do is to create a method that we will use in the guard to allow the user or disallow the user leave the page. So we should protect the user leaving the page if the form is dirty and it's not submitted. To do so, I will create in the submit form a flag is form submitted and I will have it like true. Let's declare the property and the default value of this one could be false. Now, the next thing is to create a method and the method I will name it is form valid and it will check if the form is submitted or if the form is dirty. Having this method here and since this method is public, we can use it in the guard. And we're going to use this instance here return component is form valid I will invoke this because it's a method if it's valid I will return true otherwise I will warn the user with a window confirm with a message you have unsaved changes The guard, of course, we have to use it in the routing configuration in the basic info. And this is, I can deactivate guard and I will provide in the array the class name of the guard. Let's close this and let's go to the browser to see what we have. In the basic info, if I try to change and go to the address, we can easily go to the address Let's go back to the basic info and I will start typing something. So now my page is dirty and I want to change route. As soon as I try to do this, I have a warning, you have unsaved changes, leave. If I click cancel, I remain in the same page. Let's do it once more. If I click OK, I lose my changes. Now I am in the address details and let's go back. So no changes here. Let's do it once more. 
but this time we will click the submit button and now let's try to go to the address and this is what we want to have we manage to protect the user leaving the page which has unsaved changes but the problem that we have here now is the following we have two different components we have the basic info and we have the address i want to use the is form valid guard in the address component as well I just notice here that I have the guard in the name and I have it like is form valid guard guard. Bad practice, but things happen. So how can I reuse this guard? We will do the following. We will create an interface and this interface, it will be a base component where each component, both the address and the basic info should implement this contract. So how to do this? Let's create a new file and I will name it like base component.ts. This is going to be no more like an interface. And the signature will be is form valid of type function which returns a boolean. Having the base component, we can go to the basic info and implement this. We do not have any warning because this is form valid is the same name with this method name. Now let's go to the guard and we will replace the basic info component here and here with a base component. Nice, no warnings which means that everything works fine and let's go to the browser and give it a try. From basic info, if I switch to address, everything are okay. And from the basic info, if I type something and try to change, I have the warning. And now we should do the exact same thing in the address component. So let's close this, let's close this and have side by side the others component in the basic info. On the right side, we have the others component and we need to implement the base component. And now we have a warning. And the warning is like implement interface base component. And this is what we have is form valid, but we do not need here to have the colon we need to have the equal sign because we have to assign. And in the matter of fact, I will copy and paste the left panel with this one. And we also need to have the is form submitted. And as soon as the user clicks the submit form button, we need to have the is form submitted boolean property to true. Now we have the base component here, we have this form submitted and we have this form valid, which is the method that we check in the can deactivate guard. The last piece to make this work is to go to the routing configuration. Let me close all the files and use the can deactivate in the address as well. So let's save and let's go to the browser. Let's start immediately from the address page. If I type anything here and try to go to the basic info, we can see here the warning. But if I click submit button and try to change in the basic info, we see no warnings. And let's do the same in the basic info. Try to do any change here. Try to go to the address and we can see the warning message are you sure you want to leave? No, I want to remain here. Fill in the form, type everything here. And as soon as I have everything, I want just to click the submit button and click the address page. And this is actually how we can have a generic can deactivate guard and use it in many different components. Thanks for watching.